Topic 1.2 will be on systems. So in the beginning of the course, I laid out the idea that in Topic 1 in general, I'm going to present the big ideas that we're going to use to analyze data throughout the entire class. In Topic 1.1, we talked about how you put the value on something, and that's by using an environmental value system, EVS. And in topic 1.2, we're going to start to talk about, well, how do, we, how do we model things? So if we wanted to have a system, any sort of system, it could be a biological system, it could be an ecological system, it could be a financial system, uh, it could be something to do with the body, with your house. You want to go ahead and break down the parts and then see how they're linked together. And we're going to go ahead and model this. So let's take a look at an example. What system is shown here? Well, in the little blow up here, we're looking at the respiratory system here. So what would be the parts of the respiratory system? Well, we've got the lungs and the bronchi and the trachea, so forth, the alveoli. We could also put the circulatory system down here. What are the inputs and outputs here? Well, you have air, well, oxygen basically coming into the system and carbon dioxide coming out of the system. And then you have transfers that are going on in here. And the transfers are breathing, inhalation, exhalation. I suppose we could say cellular respiration if we wanted to, but we'll just keep it simple. We're going to go ahead and do the same idea, breaking down an environmental system and try and model it by using squares and circles and arrows. Now, an environmental system is is fairly complex. It has inputs, outputs. There are going to be flows and storages in between, just like I demonstrated in my example on a respiratory system. The humans have a very unique relationship with their environment, which is unlike other animals. So it's difficult to model human systems because they're always changing. They're not, they're not quite as constant as other things. The system we're going to use is we'll have boxes. These will indicate uh, storages. The storages can be inputs or outputs. They could be uh, sinks in between. Arrows will indicate transfers going in and out of the system. And once again, those are processes that we're going to be looking at. Sometimes you can add boundaries into a system. And you want to go ahead and label as many things as possible, like I did with the respiratory system. There are three different types of systems that we can model. One is called an open system, and it has to do with the flow of energy and matter. So in an open system, we have both energy and matter moving in and out. Fair enough. That's an open system, both energy and matter. In contrast to that, you could have a closed system. In a closed system, you're only having energy being exchanged. In other words, the matter is constant. So in this terrarium over here, for example, it's sealed up. I would indicate this in a model by having boundaries here. Light energy comes in, energy goes out, but the mass actually is conserved inside of here. Let's take a look at an example. Is the Earth an open or closed system? Well, energy is definitely coming in here from the sun, and energy is being radiated out from our planet. Is the matter really changing here? Well, I suppose you could make the idea that we get cosmic dust, uh, but generally it's not really changing in matter. So we would probably say that this is a closed system. Okay? So how are we going to model it? Inputs, a process bringing it in to a storage, a process taking it out to an output. And once again, these things don't have to be physical because if it's an open system, it could be, or even if it's a closed system, could be energy or mass. Okay. The third type of system is kind of funny. It's an isolated system. And that is where there's nothing really being exchanged, neither energy nor matter. The only possible example of that really is the universe. Uh, we're never going to cover this in our class. So for purposes of this class, we're only going to be dealing with uh, 
open and closed systems.